Now let's talk about the closeout day. To view the closeout day, start by selecting closeout day located under manager activities from the Toast POS main menu. The closeout day page is an optional feature that provides you with an audit report on the current status of all checks and employee activity. This is not required to be manually carried out each night to turn the day over in the system. Toast will carry out these functions automatically for each restaurant on a nightly basis, so manual intervention is not required. Please take note that Toast will not close any unpaid orders. These will remain open until they are resolved either by being paid or by being voided. So to close out those checks, select View Checks. From the closeout day screen, we'll also be able to view all of our employees that are clocked in, any cash drawers that need to be closed, and also we'll have the opportunity to create a deposit. A deposit is cash removed from a restaurant to be deposited in a bank or other financial institution. A cash deposit should be the final cash management operation of the day. After all checks are closed, ship reviews are completed, and all cash drawers are closed, you can use the cash deposit screen to enter in the actual cash amount of the deposit into the Toast platform. To close the cash drawer directly from this page, select Close Drawers, and we'll be redirected to that area. We'll get into that with more detail in just a bit. To create a deposit, we're going to select Create Deposit, and we'll be able to add in our deposits by selecting Add Deposit. On the left-hand side, we'll be able to view the Z report. The Z report is a sales summary that can be printed by an in-store receipt printer when using the closeout date function. If we'd like to change the date of this report, we can simply click into the date and choose the date that we'd like to see. The Z report is also completely customizable. You can configure the information that will display on the Z report by navigating over to Toast Web and navigating to UI options. From this page, we'll also be able to print the report. Keep in mind that printing the report does not turn the day over into the next day. The data updates in real time as sales occur. On this screen, we may also see an auto resolve button. You can auto resolve certain issues if you need to close out quickly or want to resolve a large number of issues with the same solution. We may also see an end date button. Open checks must be resolved before you can end the day. In fact, the end date button won't be available until all open checks have been resolved and you cannot auto resolve open checks. Another report that is similar to the Z report that we can see on the closeout day screen are service reports. Located under manager activities, we'll navigate over to service reports. Service Reports provides you with the same data as a Z report, but broken down by the date parts, such as service periods, that are set up for your restaurant. So we'll be able to see those different service periods by selecting this drop down menu. The Service Period drop down menu will allow you to filter your sales data to a specific date part, such as breakfast, lunch, dinner, brunch, etc. You can also select Print Report at the bottom of the screen if desired. 